guys. How you doing? Pretty good, I am. I have, of course, another video. One of these little guys. I have, actually, like six of them. Um, I, th I thought they'd be really great gifts. So I do have several of them. I even bought one of the bigger ones, too. I thought that would be awesome to do a pour painting on, you know? And uh, what they are is just little chalkboards. That's kind of a neat idea, too, you know, for your desk or leave messages for your kids or something. Pretty neat. So I plan on doing a brown one in here with lots of cells with coconut oil one of these days when I'm doing the coconut oil. But I think they were cool. And I got these 30% off at Michael's one day. And then I went back the next because I love the idea and I got them for 40% off so this one was actually used I tried it on here one time I didn't like it because I used some flow off paint from a pour you know I scooped it up and it ended up being uh, just too mud there was not a lot of color coming from it so Anyway, yeah, I think they're what five dollars regular price. I paid thirty percent, forty percent off. So yeah, so that was it. I'll clean that up later. Cute. I have my other one. I'll show you real quick. Let me go get that. I'm gonna gloss that the next time I get the gloss out. Hold on. There we go. I'm sure you guys remember this one. <laughs> and I did paint the wood because I noticed when I bought them at Michael's, they have like some of the, the paint there is coming off on the wood. They were all like that. Even that brown one has a few little areas, but it wasn't so bad. But, uh, yeah, so I just painted over it. You know, I made it real nice. I even painted the inside area, so it's perfect. So, yeah, I forgot to gloss this the last time. <laughs> They're cute. I keep that on my desk. That's how I forgot to gloss it, because I wasn't sitting out with my other painting. Anyway, you don't need much. And that's where I made my mistake the last time. I am not going to put any black in this. If I do, oh, very little. Let me see. It's about enough white. So you do not need a lot. green. Don't have a whole lot left in there either, so wipe my finger off here. Phalo, I mean. swirl. <laughs> it's funny. Just using that little tiny bit of paint. I 
I'm white. That's good. Looks like it all came out. Not much though. I always feel so funny painting with these little things. So yeah, your ends the, on the inside, they seem to get a little bit painted up, but, and I did the right amount of paint too. That's awesome. Uh, the last time, oh, I just touched up the inside. I told you that with white on these edges, the inside edges. Uh, yeah, my uh, light bulb got hot. It said it needed to shut down and cool off. Bring it back to the middle, just like I would. I like this one. one of my favorite colors in there. Okay. Bring it back to the middle. I guess that's pretty cool. Not bad. And I don't think it's too thick. No, I don't think so. It's just like it was last time. Looks like it's selling up too. <laughs> I'll wait just a second and then I'll turn my light back on. I'll let it cool off for a minute. It'll turn on in just a second. So I'll be right back. Okay, my phone cooled down now so we have light. So we can do a close-up. I was going to do a little tiny torch. Just a little. I don't want to burn the chalkboard or the wood. but A little too... Small. <laughs> I always feel funny doing these little tiny ones. Just like I used to those little other ones, like this one. Oh, yeah. These on the little easels, you know. They're cute. I actually glossed this one. With polycrylic. I thought it was cool. Uh, looked like a little dolphin or a fish in there, too, so I thought that was kind of neat. I keep that up here all the time, and there went the light again. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's just too hot. Well, it should be able to still see. Then I have this one here. I did a long time ago. This was just with all my bottled, my pre-mixed bottles. I have this gloss too with polycrylic. And uh, I think I have a video on this too. But this was no silicone in here at all. This was just from my bottles. That's, those, that's the cells from my bottles. They just sit pre-mixed and they, a couple, three days, then they're good to go. I love that one. <laughs> but that's what it reminds me of that Luke and Tilting's little tiny canvases, you know. I even painted the bottom of it. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this done here. So let's see if you can see it without the light. Yeah, put it on an angle, I think you can. 
Very cool. Very, very cool. Some cells in there too. I noticed the cells starting to perk up while I was sitting there waiting for the camera to cool down. That is so cool. Very, very awesome. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I might keep this one because turquoises are my favorite color. Native turquoise, I love. I love native turquoise over regular turquoise. And this one I'll probably give to somebody then. But yeah, it's pretty neat. It's fun. Well, that's it for tonight. I can't do too not any big paintings. I have so many I'm waiting for the end of the month to gloss. So yeah, this is cool. So then you just let it sit there and dry. And it's so thin, I really don't think you have to wait the two weeks for this to cure. Um I didn't on a couple of these canvases, actually, the little canvases I didn't either. But anyway, that's it. Hey, guys, thanks for watching again. It's nothing real big, but it's awful beautiful. That funny house has that little rounding right there. Isn't that funny? <clears throat> Very beautiful. All right, take it easy, guys. I'll catch you later. Have a good one now. Bye-bye.